Morning Porsche peeps, it's Edward here. Very special day today. It's um, it's very light here already, uh, but it's actually still quite early. It's only 5.30 in the morning, uh, but this is Australia sort of, we're getting into summer now, so it gets lighter a lot earlier in the morning. Um, so I'm uh, up and I'm ready to go. I've just made myself a coffee, just packing my bag for today, because today is the birthday, the 20th birthday cruise of the mighty GD3. We've got an absolutely huge amount of people coming. I'm very, very excited about this. Um, I was up at like 1.30. <laughs> I just went on laid in bed for a few hours. I thought, I'm getting up. So I'm just about to have a cup of coffee. I think I said that. And uh, I just pack in my bag here. I just wanted to share my... This is my bag. It's my Porsche bag. Thank you very much to the guys at Porsche Club Georgia for sending me this. Um, it is an absolute... Oh, and Porsche Club Ukraine. Sorry. It's a cracking, cracking little bag. What I do is I just put all my crap in there that I need for the day, the drink, my phone, my walkie-talkie, your glasses, the lot. I just have one bag and I can just reach in. So so kudos to you guys for sending me that. And um, we'll make a video today like we normally do of, uh, of, the, of the event. And I'll, uh, I'll share my thoughts also about the mighty GT3. 20 years. Incredible. I start. It's the best. The best, baby. Listen to that. Waking up the neighbours five to six in the morning. Oh, wait a minute, PSE. You hear the difference? Oh, they're all going, that Porsche guy again. I'm sick and tired of that Porsche guy. Suck it up, baby. Ah. So I'm just driving to the meeting point um, and I'll just give you a little bit more information about our day today. So as you all know, the GD3 um, is 20 years uh, old or 20 years young this year. So the first GD3 came out in 1999, it was a Series 1 GD3, uh, 996. Now you know, I mean, what I, what I find amazing about the GD3 uh, line is, is that it's already coming from such a high point in the 911. So the 911 of the day was the 996 uh, C2 and there was a couple of variants of that. There was also a, um, a C4S and, a, and, and the turbo as well. Um, but the C4S was basically the tur a, a turbo body and uh, I think it had turbo brakes and a few other bits and pieces but it was still just a standard Carrera engine. Great car, I reckon it's, it's the best looking the best looking 996, even better than the GD3. Um, but like it was already coming from a high point, the 911's always been the benchmark. Uh, all, all sports car manufacturers, whether they admit it or not, measure their vehicles against the 911. And it, it, the 911 punch is so, so well above its weight because, you know, it's an expensive car, but you can buy it now fairly cheaply if you look for a, a a, a nice 996, although I've spoken to you about this before, prices are on the way up. Um, but you know, the reason why is, it's, look, I've, I've said this before, the 911 was a, the whole concept of pretty much Porsche in general, but uh, specifically for this um, conversation, the 911 was built specifically as a sports car from the beginning. So you've already got a sports car in the 911, which has got gobs of grip, huge amount of traction, grip and traction can be the same or slightly different. Um, you know, it gets the power down to the road, so it's it's lesser power than most supercars, but because it can get that power down to the road, it still puts in the better lap times and it's usually acceleration times are right up there as well. So they've basically taken a, um, a garden variety 911 and turned it into a GT3. Um, and and, and every, every single GT3 is an absolutely incredible piece of machinery. So we're celebrating that today. We've got around 50 people coming. I'd say there are probably about 30 cars, um, which is not too bad because it's, it's an invite-only event. So I only invited people that I know in my Porsche network to come along. It wasn't sort of open to the general public, otherwise we'd probably have way more people coming along. Um, and out of that, there's probably about maybe eight or 10 GD3s. Or probably, yeah, probably more like eight. So we'll have the GD3s leading out the cavalcade. We've got special parking for them at our lunch venue today. Um, 
all other Porsches are, are also, of course, coming along. We've got a, a nice variety of cars. So I, I just want to share that. Like, you know, around the world, I don't know what's happening. You know, there's a few things here and there, but the GT3 deserves to be celebrated. It is such an important car for Porsche. It has become the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The, not the signature car, the, um, oh, you know, there's a special word for it. I'll, I'll come back to you and I'll tell you in a minute. All right, so I've been driving for about 10 minutes and I've been like going through all these words. Marquee, centerpiece, showpiece, the main car. Yeah, I just couldn't come up with a word, but I finally got it. Don't you love it when that happens? It's like, ah, oh, it's the flagship of the range. The GT3 is a flagship of the range, even though there is other cars like the GT2 RS, which I'd swap this for in a heartbeat. I'd give the flagship over for one of them, but the GT3 is it. It's like naturally aspirated. It's, it's, you know, it's the one that everyone like worries the most about. The turbo is a great car too, but you know, what are they going to do? It's always going to be a turbo. There's always going to be turbos, but we're always so nervous about this car becoming a turbo. Keep it naturally aspirated. Where's the manual gearbox? You know, and so this is the flagship of the range. Thank you God that I remembered flagship because I would have gone home and gone back to bed. At the risk of me sharing everything that happens today, I'm going to try not to do that. And if I do, when I get back later, I'll edit some of it out. But right this very second, I've just given the car a quick wash. I always do that. Like I've spoken about this before. We go on runs. We have to have our cars clean when we arrive. So everyone, you know, especially today, GT3 birthday and all. And then by the time you get home, the, the car's filthy. Um, but it's two bucks. I normally put two bucks in, give the car a quick rinse. I just found two bucks on the ground. I... I can't describe how what a nice feeling it is to find money, uh, to find like, and that's only two bucks. Oh, mate, flick it over your, your shoulder. I don't know, but I'm just about to wash the car. There's two bucks sitting there. I just got a free car wash. Happy days. Just on the freeway and I look in my side mirror. This is just one of the best feelings, eh? I can see. Right next to me here, a four-liter GT3 Series 2, and on the on the lane next to him, there's a really nice Cayman GDS, and then behind the GT3, gosh, that car looks good with a wing, just, just so good. There's a really lovely uh, 911 Black Series 997. That's a beautiful car, and then behind that we've got a 997 Carrera S. Here he comes now, just coming past. I'll flip the camera and let you have a look at his car. It's an absolute cracker. What a beauty. Now the GD3 on the road, even at these low speeds, just looks so good. And then when you when you when you get the power down, the back just sort of squats a bit and away it goes. And how can anyone think, look, look at look at this car. It's gotta be, it's just so good looking. The 911 is, is just the best looking car in the world. I know that there's uh, Aston Martins and Ferraris and people will argue till they're green, blue in the face, but come on people, let me get behind it. You gotta see this thing from the back. Seriously, how tough is that? I mean, it doesn't get much tougher, right? Come on, the toughest car on the planet. Oh gosh, I wish we had some open slather. I wish we were on a racetrack now. Oh, we got a little Mini Cooper S uh, following us as well. How's that? So what I'm not gonna do today is, um, I'm not going to today do the old tunnel thing where I drink slow right down to the, below the speed limit and, and then uh, make some noise under a tunnel. I've done that enough. I don't think I have to do that again today, alright? Liar! Liar! So here we are at our meeting point and I just thought I'd share this with you. Look, the four GT guys were here. They're just leaving now. Apparently they've got some track day on today. But, um, you know, they're great cars, but go around here we've, we're only just arrived and we've already got the Hulk GD3 RS we've got the black maniac GD3 4.0 and we've got the white warrior and there'll be some more cars arriving oh and then over here of course we've got all the beautiful G oh there's a Cayman GDS there and 911s it's got a lot of cars coming today it's gonna to be absolutely mental 
What do you want to say? No, no, no. No, I said if you want me to do some video, I won't do it here because it's too congested. So we're more around. We're more around. I'm videoing this. This is going to be great on YouTube. Everyone's going to be going. We really want to know what Frank's talking about. He's mumbling away. This is Frank. We've got Steve Hunt over here. Oh, he comes. Oh, he comes. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get him. That's good. Where is he? What year is that one? 80. Where is he? There's Lothar. Yeah, see. Hey? Yeah, see. Yeah. Beautiful 996. Listen to that. I mean, please. If people reckon that these don't sound as good as the air cooled cars, well, I don't know. Because that sounds pretty good to me. You know? Listen to Oh, stop it. Oh, I see you just got that little rev just before he turned it off. Oh, so good. So here we are in the beautiful town, historic town, the monastic town in Western Australia of New Norcia. We have an absolutely beautiful bunch of cars here. We had a very nice leisurely drive through the country. The flies are out, which is so Australian. And as you can see, the skies are blue and I haven't done a final count on our car numbers, but it's pretty high. So we've got a couple of GD4s over there and some beautiful 991s. And if you spin around, this view is the most beautiful. You have, first of all, an absolutely stunning Spanish monastic building, which is now the hotel. Um, very, very famous, this one. Let's get a better view of that. Very famous in Western Australia. Um, as you know, the, uh, the monastic people that, that uh, founded the, the Catholic um, uh, New Norcia Monastery um, uh, were from Spain. They, they, they came from Spanish descent. 
So this particular building here is uh, done in the Spanish style, as is most of the uh, buildings in the town. Anyone watching this video from around the world, you really do need to come and, 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 uh, and visit New Norse here in Western Australia. It's an absolutely amazing town. The, mon the monks are still uh, operating. Um, the monks are still operating in the area. Um, uh, and they have a, a, a monastery over there and there's a church that runs and they have uh, other things that happen here. Um, as you can see, we've got the GD3s over there parked up. We're going to go and have a good look at them. We've got them in staggered format so you can see the, the nuances of the beautiful body that is the GT3. So a very fitting birthday for the Porsche 911 GT3. the crows in the background that is so Australian these guys are everywhere they're happy to see us I think they they're all Porsche aficionados as well it's great GD4 there love this car 964 ourselves can we Just here with Frank, he's taking photos of the cars. Another great day today, uh, great Edward. Day. In the spirit of Perfect things. weather. Happy birthday, GD3. Happy birthday, GD3. The flies, the flies are very friendly. Flies are very friendly, well. very friendly. So I asked Frank to take some photos, and he's come out and he's taken about 40 photos of his GD, G, Cayman GDS over there and nothing else. I'll take so, a few GD3s, but the, G, the, the GDS um, is the better car, isn't it? It's well, beautiful. GD, he loves it. There's so many GD3s. Yeah, the Diamond Dozen <laughs> the is Diamond just like at least a right. dozen of them here. There's only one. Uh, there's there's actually, actually so, that, two GDSs. Yeah, so like he loves his car, parks okay. it up on carpet. In his garage, on the blacks out the tyres, right? There's no bugs on his car. How is that when all of ours are covered in bugs? How do you do it? Oh, just maintain a nice uh, distance between the car and front. And the you car do and you do about yeah. 60 kph the whole way. Yeah. I'll, turn leave up myself, I'll leave myself about 300 metres. 500 metres. So, um, that's short shifts all the way, like first, <laughs> whoop, second, whoop, through a third. He just starts in seventh gear. He's, mm, yeah, that's, that's how you do it, right? Because he also uses two tanks of fuel for every run. Whereas <laughs> my tank's already empty, so... Anyway, that's Frank. Oh, you want to see his car? Here, okay, there it is. I don't want to fall off this ledge I'm standing on because I'll die. There, look at the GDS. He loves it. He's taken a lot of photos of that car. And for good reason. And then around here, we've got the bug spattered remains of the GD3 birthday girl. Oh my goodness. I don't want to even say what we got there. Do I have to do the... I'll do the list, okay? So we've got 901.1. We've got a 901.2 GD3 RS, 4.0 litre. Oh my good, 4.0. Then we got, I can't see, uh, we got a 9, GD3 Touring. Is that right? Now we got a 996, then we got a GD3 Touring, then we got a yellow 901 GD3 like mine, 901.1, then we got a 901.2, 4 litre. And at the very end, we got a, I know we got a black one, and then we got another 901.2. So we missed out on a 997 because the guy that was, uh, that was coming with his 997, unfortunately, the gearbox 
is being repaired. So you must drive that thing hard. Time for lunch and a pint. I'll see you guys soon.